We're here at the Indiana State Museum with Kathy Faree. You and I go back far, not as far as some of the artifacts. Yeah, not quite that not, far. Not quite that far. But pretty far back. But pretty far yeah, back. Yeah, a couple decades. This is really cool because what you've done is added new things and renovated some of the things, updated them. Absolutely, and yeah. we've been really enhanced the stories that you can tell, and we're also looking to bring all of these things to context for you so you can understand why yesterday matters today and what changes you might make tomorrow. And right here, there's a change, and I remember this section, but it was once walled off, closed off. It, yeah. Actually, it was, but yeah. now we've made it, we've opened it up so that you can always come in and do your own exploration. Yeah. They've done a lot of um, research to show, as you can see, these What's little girls here? are yes. actually looking at owl pellets. So if you can put things in people's hands, it makes it real for them. But also, those are scientists um, at work, so they may seem like they're nine year olds, but they're actually very busy coming up with new discoveries and learning things just through pulling apart and recognizing that who knew? I have to ask you this what's an owl pellet? The owl can you answer that on TV? I can answer most <laughs> of it. The owl pellet is what the owl doesn't swallow. They bring it back up, they store it in their mouth, and then they eventually spit it out. Well, that's better than I thought. Yeah, no, okay. Not let's take quite as dynamic as we like. Now, let's take a walk over here because this is new. This is brand new. This yeah. is our new glacier. Mm -hmm. So you'll go in, you can feel the cool air coming off, you'll hear the crackling of the ice. You can hear the water swishing over. We just want to give people a real understanding of really the size and scope what a glacier looks like, feels like, what it might feel like to be in one. You hear a lot about them, but they're hard to sort of visualize. So we're going to put you in one, and that's what we have here today. Now, this is a permanent exhibit, or uh, obviously. Absolutely. Yeah. As yeah. permanent as anything gets. Yeah. Um, but well, it's a real, it'll be here. And the real um, power behind this is we'll be a new scientists, mm -hmm. graduate students from the universities across the state. We'll talk about the work they're doing today. What have they discovered? What did the finds that we have here inform their work today? So it's a great opportunity for people to see how glaciers matter to them besides where you want to ride your bicycle. Well, we can only hope that the glaciers are permanent. Yes. In real life. In real life. In, in real life. Yes, and hey. we talk about that a little bit. Oh, so terrific. what does that look like? So, you know, our glacier melted. What did that mean? Why are glaciers melting today? What does that mean? So it really gives you current topics, things that are relevant to your everyday life. We're going to look at three more aspects of the museum. You have to run, but we have another guest. We'll do we that. We do. We do. We'll do that when we come back. Stay with us. Thank you.